Hello everyone and welcome to Atomic Heights. Hope you enjoy. Rex here and let's play. Oh, difficulties. Oh, okay, let's go for Armageddon. Sounds good, sounds good. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. Oh. <laughs> Floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. The game lock. Looks stunning. Well, would you care for some more soda, comrade? Oh, of course. Sure, thanks. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Come here, bot. Here, bot. Is that still working on the robot's navigation yeah, system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. With your Vovas bots, Andre. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been like that all day. Number three is booked. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Hmm. That's all. Give me your control me. code. I'll set them straight. Hold the key, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! See some shot. Oh, you did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Once again, the game is very, very difficult. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead.
facility guests. The address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechinov, is about to begin. That's nice. Hey, that bot's actually pretty good. Nice coordination. Did you just praise a robot? I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited advice. Device, comrades. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No, nah, thanks. I'm just browsing. <laughs> Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey, how about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuroconnector right away. At the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight. But it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. Uh. All right, then. seem to access your biometric data. Maybe there's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. So long. I do apologize. Have a great day. Hey, you, experimental glove. I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead, since you're so special and all. You'll see how special I am soon enough. But you ought to refer to me as Charles the chatting artificial librarian and educational system. <laughs> I'll call you whatever I feel like, glove. Right there. If you take the intervals into account, you know, the whole equation's off. What if we realign the massive array? No good. How on earth did such enough manage it? The whole paradox indeed. You sound just like my mother in law. My ears finish anyway. All this. Safety post, okay? Oh. of the facility herald comrade breakthroughs abound biology robotics gunsmithing and just in time for universal polymerization you can't stop progress huh that's right doesn't it fill you with pride what's new in robotics the way things are going in five years robots will be completely indistinguishable from humans Legacy anthropomorphic models like me will receive a complete polydermic makeover 
making them capable of extremely subtle facial expressions. One day you'll be buying a newspaper, and you won't even realize you're talking to a robot. I'd rather be able to tell who's human and who's bot from the get-go. So, what's going on in biology right now? Everything, comrade. To take just one example, our scientists have just developed an experimental vitamin complex that promises to increase the lifespan of Soviet citizens to between 100 and 150 years. Damn, that's a lot of time to kill. Okay. What can you tell me about gunsmithing? I'm asking, as a professional. There's a brief piece on new weapon systems, something about Comrade Kalashnikov revisiting Gauss's work on magnetism to improve modern electromagnetic weaponry. They say he's expecting to increase power by a factor of three to five. Hmm, I wouldn't mind taking that for a spin. At a shooting range, of course. Of course. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Take it easy. A newspaper. What the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, newspapers are a source of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. Can I just get the information from you? Comrade Major, may I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter, but it will make it easier to read. Use your glove's built-in menu. <sighs> Lousy prick. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. I already tried one. It doesn't work on me. Why not just try one on? Thanks, but I gotta run. It's rude to eavesdrop on other people's conversations, comrade major. You're one to talk. Yeah, fix. Reflections. Nice. I had my polymer treatment yesterday. And I feel really great. And I've already started studying physics and chemistry. Step right up. You can become part of collective with a thought device. Very high. Oh, she keeps me. Feelings. It's almost like the picture. Come on, come on. Can you show us the photograph? Uh, I think I blinked. Let's see. Ah, oh, no, I blinked. <laughs> Did you really have to make that face? Let's do it one more time. But this time, make sure the atom's in the picture. Oh. Well, let's Curious. just take the picture the way we are. Say cheese. Cheese. Get ready for your group photo, comrades. Come on, guys. Don't be shy. There's room. Uh, can we get the atom in the picture and the too? And the statue as well. Uh, everything up to there should be in the picture. It'll look great. Here's an idea. I'm a lady from the future, and you're my soldiers. Man. Yeah, like this. Say cheese. Cheese. Let's take another one. Any ideas? Yeah. You and Anatoly stand like the worker and the coal host woman. And you? I'll be the cosmonaut, so keep still. Say cheese. Can I move now? Come on, let's see the picture. Come on, come on. Can you show us the photograph? Uh, I think I blinked. Let's see. Where? Oh. <laughs> Did you really have to make that? Let's do it one more time. Hey. This time, make sure Adam's in the picture. Photo the photo before. Attention, comrades. Listen up. Tickets are now Increase in demand is expected in five hours and forty minutes. Hello, Alice. I have time. Bus. Skip. The robot is man's best friend, eh? Interesting. I'm old enough to remember such a That one's floating. The 
Pigeon Mastoid Hovercraft Hovercraft technology Sorry for the German civilians It's good they're allies Yo, the code is 0451, okay? Got it? of facility 3826 hear about its great discoveries and pay your respects to all the victims of war everyone here seems so happy and content just like in china you've been to china comrade major i've been everywhere i mean everywhere except for china i guess facility 3826 isn't all that far from our chinese allies i like their spirit and i hear it's nice there indeed it is and then i want the one look that robot is known as a bellyash. <laughs> like a fried dovo? But why? It's a welder robot. If you ask silly questions, it'll fry your fanny. How rude. <laughs> Plus, robots Get can't fry anybody. Off. It's against their programming to harm a human being. Yeah, I know that. Uh... Yes. Yes. It's just a few days until the new... Impossible. A few months. I'd like to inform you that... That's too official. This isn't a formal letter, damn it. Slow down, son, slow down. fought in the war, comrade Major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Crispy critters, man. Fuck. Watch your language, Major. We're in a public place. Yeah, whatever. Huh? Okay, love our main character. Sturdy young man. I was just the village herbalist. I was just a lonely wolf, my little sorceress. Look, that was the year you gave me a whole basket of lilacs. Now, now, this isn't a memorial to the two of us. You know? Not <laughs>
still can't believe the stars can be so close. Comrades, the day will come when all the planets of the we solar will reach system the most all have uh, Okay. Artificial Artificial atmosphere and right now, we are taking our first steps on this historic journey. I've got a question. Yes, comrade, how may I help? Oh, can you tell me about the ball space? Well, what can you tell me about space? <laughs> That's quite a question. We could talk about it endlessly and still get nowhere. One thing is certain, though. The question, how should we live here on Earth, can only be answered out there. So, what do you think? Is mankind ready to leave its home? A philosophical question, but if you're asking about technology, we'll have it in a couple of years. But whether we're truly ready for it, every person has to make up their own mind. So do you believe in aliens? If I had a ruble for every time I've been asked that question, I'd be a capitalist. But I hope that very soon, we will fly to the stars and become aliens to other races. Huh. I never thought about it that way before. Thanks. That's a funny way to use a Belyash. Yeah, I was surprised too. Apparently, the MA-9 can use its polymer emitter to form an image-producing grid. In effect, this robot now doubles as a high-resolution video camera and projector. No thanks, I'm good. Fuck me, I just talked to that guy for 10 minutes and I didn't understand a goddamn word he said. You're being too hard on the young man. He's just doing his job. He ought to be selling sunflower seeds on the street. <laughs> Space expert, my left nut. Going forward, I hope you can exhibit the same professionalism you expect from those around you. That goes double for you. What a wonderful day. You know, I didn't believe that way. I thought they postponed the launch this year, but it's right on schedule. <laughs> Major Nachayev reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly-education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example. And you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. your glove with scanner functionality using the neuropolymer as a conduit the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system especially your eyes polymer retina to activate the scanner just make a special gesture please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it the palm of your hand should be facing the object contract all the fingers on your hand 
except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Whoa, I never expected that. <clears throat> Demon, be gone. <laughs> for your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? This Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. This looks so goofy. <laughs> uh, okay. This kind of looks so cool. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitri Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. A warm welcome to your future. Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest event in the history of man. We find ourselves just one small step away from the amazing change the world as we know it. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few years. That's my invention of the neuropolymer process medic adaption. It has now become possible to launch a worldwide all-encompassing version of the Collective 2.0 network. At last, a network of human robots. Humans will be able to control machines with their thoughts alone. And, finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science, Comrade Major. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future. The Neural Connector Thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellect of all individuals into a powerful mind free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed accessing all human knowledge and of course combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. 
Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize literary masterpieces from around the world. This all will be possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. All communication between your brain and your personal thought device is made possible via a tiny injection of neuropolymer at a local center for polymerization, where you will also receive your thought device in five minutes. In just five minutes, you'll become the future. Comrade, as a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, join your compatriots and undergo polymerization today. Stand with Collective 2.0. Learn how to control robots with your own mind and explore space. Reach the pinnacle of evolution. The global launch of Collective 2.0. Our marvelous network. So will be on glad the to see you're taking it easy, June, Comrade Major. The car is waiting. Two days you must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. Get your device today. He left with one of his potting guns. Yeah, not to leave. The, first. the future is already yours. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just... so nice. Our elevator has arrived. So shiny. Nice. That's it. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. Vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We could take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? The game is just beautiful. Yes. Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. 
So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. internal combustion engine, right? Sure, it's a solid machine. Can't stop progress, though. They're turning out new models daily now. This one's a gas guzzler. Wait until they're all running on electricity. That'll be something. Got that right. Yo. Really? That's a boy parking job. Look, crossing the line. Into sports. Well, let's get to some driving. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, I just came from one in of them. every city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics, workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? Yeah. That's more like it. I see you finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Fjord. What did you just say? What? I said the signal's on oh. Fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, <laughs> your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. 
It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, <clears throat> 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. It's just like with the NH. I do the dike ones. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, mm. nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Major, 
Petrova's initiating combat maneuvers. What? Initiating what? For real? Watch, Watch out! out. What am I supposed to do about it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. Yo, yo. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory gate of the Robin Hood Alpha Software facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell are I you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now on. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again! Oh, help me, Comrade Major! I'm falling! What the shit? Ooh. Yeah, that's the end of uh, Power Life. That's it. No more General Major, okay? He died dead. Well. From now on, we play as the glove. Never mind. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective's central hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Sechenov out. A very contact with robots and security system surveillance center. We're playing from sound end, making loud noises, or talking aloud. Your life is in danger.
through polymer plenty of times and haven't drowned yet. It's a frickin' miracle of modern science. Okay, that chicken. You are here by the way, this is your first person, and you're further noticed. You will be alerted by the one that special forces are going to be has been contained. Details on the target. Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Hey, you, I'm coming. You alive in there? Somebody help me! Somebody help me! I'm gonna die in here! Somebody help me! Get me out of here! What? Huh? What? We'll do that in the next episode. See you next time, everyone.